Hello, and welcome to Learn Stage Now with Zebra Knowledge Center. In this series, you will learn how to stage Zebra mobile computers efficiently, productively, and effortlessly using our Stage Now tool. In this episode, you will learn how to connect your device to a wireless LAN. We will cover a more common setup that does not require certificates. They will be covered in a separate video. If you're new to Stage Now, be sure to check out our Stage Now overview and Stage Now Essentials videos. They contain a lot of information you want to know before we continue. Okay, let's go. Here is a heads up of what is covered and how it's covered in this video. We'll start with a single slide and then move on to the tool itself. Let's begin. When you are deploying settings, in most cases, they are directly encoded in the barcode or NFC tag. When you scan that, the Stage Now client decodes the contents, performs necessary actions, and generates some local logs. In most cases, no additional network transfers occur, so this mode can fully work offline. Why is that useful? You can email PDFs with barcode sheets without having to set up any servers for people in the remote sites to set up their devices by themselves, or just hang the barcode sheet in some accessible place to allow people to perform a wide variety of configuration tasks with their device. Okay, let's now see how it's done in the tool itself. Here's the main screen. We're using Stage Now version 2.1. Select Create New Profile. Log in as admin. You still remember that password, don't you? It can't be changed once installed. We want to connect to a network, so that's the wizard we're going to choose and the MX version for our device. Give it a name. Press Enter. Yes, we want to use the StageNow client. The wizards can configure WLAN profile or GPRS 3G APN for you. I encourage you to explore the GPRS path as homework for now. We'll go with Wi-Fi. If your network requires a certificate, answering yes here will take you through a chain of screens, allowing you to select the CA, certification authority, server and client certificates which will then be embedded into the barcodes, NFC tag, provided the tag can hold that much data. We will go via a simpler PSK-based route, so choose no. This step is quite interesting. Why would you want to disconnect from the network? Well, if your device is fresh out of the box, you don't need to. But if your device already has some networks defined, you might. Here's why. The Android Connection Manager is built to dynamically switch between networks looking for the best one. Thus, sometimes it may not switch to the network you want just because the old one is better, for example, has stronger signal. Or it might jump back to another network while you're in the midst of the configuration process. What good would that do? Thus, we're giving you two ways of bulletproofing your process. First, you can explicitly instruct Android to disconnect from existing network, if you know the name. Then, you can connect to a new one, and it will always work. But what if you don't know the name? Then you can use the next step instead. This step allows us to disable all network profiles, which is a much more fail-safe way of ensuring that the device will indeed only connect to the network you want. So choose yes, and note that everything is already pre-selected for us, so we can simply continue. Now, we definitely want to add the network. Most of the options are pre-configured for us. We only need to give it an SSID and choose a security mode. If you choose Enterprise, you'll get a wide choice of encryption and authentication modes.
we will go with PSK, so we'll choose the personal mode. We'll choose a strict WPA2 mode with CCMP encryption. Unchecking Protect Key allows you to see the input characters. You can also uncheck Use DHCP to configure the static IP settings. Beware, though, that AOSP Android 4.1 has a bug in the driver stack. If the second DNS entry is empty, the device will revert to DHCP. So when using it, just type the first one twice. You can also set up a proxy if you need to. But we don't need either of those. Leave them be. We also want to save this profile setting for future reuse. Next time we need to connect to this WLAN, we can just say Reuse Saved Setting and choose it from there. Now that we've created a profile, we want the device to connect to it. The reason these steps are separated is that maybe you want to push several WLAN profiles to the device, say staging and multiple production networks, but only connect to one of them right now, the staging one. You cannot do it with this specific wizard, but you can do it with others, for example, via the expert mode, which we will cover in the following videos. For now, note that everything is pre-populated for us, including the SSID from the previous step. We'll also save this one. If you are seeing this screen, you're either using old Stage Now version or have legacy staging mode turned on in settings. We will cover this subject in a separate video, so let's skip it for now. That's it. We've done it. Let's review our profile steps. We've disabled all network profiles so that they don't interfere. We've created a new one. We've told the device to connect to it. Now let's provide a meaningful description. Keep the encryption and test it. We'll test it using the PDF barcode sheet from computer screen. So we'll publish a PDF 417 barcode and hit test. Open the stage now client on the device. Scan the barcode. Voila, we've done it. Now you can connect your device to Wi-Fi using Stage Now. Okay, that was it. Now let's play a game that will help you check what you've learned. You will see a question pop up. Pause the video and think on an answer. Then unpause and check. Let's see how many of them can you get right. Let's go. That was the last one. 
Hope you did well. Congratulations, and thank you for watching this video. You can now connect a device to a WLAN. Check out other videos to learn about various staging use cases, best practices, and advanced features of StageNow. Goodbye.